Well, let's get one last look at the garbage battery terminals before I get ready to take them out. I'm also adding another ground to the frame under back in there. So, hopefully that'll eliminate the little bit of engine noise that I got. I do have it grounded to the alternator. And I also have the upgraded chassis up top, the factory location. But I'm going to add one to the frame like I did in the back. I'll cut you guys back on after uh, I get this battery out and these terminals on. Okay, guys, we got it installed. They're actually pretty nice. Nice and tight. Really good quality, I'd say. And they're really easy to get to because the Allen key to secure the terminal is on the sides. So it's they're really easy to get to. Well, we have our alternator ground coming over. I also, I told you guys I was adding an extra ground underneath the car. Oh. And there you guys see it. I'm going to cover that with some paint in a little while here. I just wanted to get the video in before I got to covering that up. But yeah, you're going to need, I used a 10 millimeter bolt and a washer because those, uh, those rings are really big. The holes are big on them. So, we got that. Things you'll need to do the job. Good wire brush. This one's pretty much dead. I bought some new ones. Obviously, I didn't have to use them. Good corded saw. I mean, saw. <laughs> Good corded drill. 10 millimeter with the little attachment for a basic socket. But... Yeah, there you go. And I shot it. I shot the frame with a little bit of uh, aircraft strip. It's paint removal. Let it sit on there. It's cold, but I let it sit on there for about 30 minutes. Wiped it off. And then got to using the uh, brush. It is cold out here. But things need to be done, so got to get them done. Um, yeah, that's all you really need. A pair of pliers, some island keys, nice brush set, and a strong corded drill. Or if you got a really strong impact impact drill, you could probably get the attachment to put this on it. But I use a corded drill for anything that's like issuing with like grounds. I seem like my my cordless isn't strong enough, I think. And plus it doesn't spin fast enough. Corded drill spins really fast, so makes the job a lot easier. You ain't got to sit out here all day. But I'll be back with you guys with a demo in a second. Well, since there's really nowhere for me to really demo today, I'm just going to ride and demo. Here we go, guys. Oh, the streets, I give them hope. I follow the mama. She give me hope. I'm not a fan. I'm not a street. I'm not your medical permit in hell. Swap full of bone, man. I'm different from now. You have fear, so I'm still tipping in it. I'm in a dungeon. I sip a hot tea. Got to get more, because I'm never content. They cannot break me. I'm never going to fit. Scared of that nigga. I'm not a hit, bitch. Do my shoe line, I ain't hit. 
Well, there you guys go. That was uh, Money Man. You see it was that song and what was the first song? Both of those, Money Man, really be having some good beats on his shit. For demo in any way. Just for like regular music without the bass boosted hurts kind of stuff. Money Man is pretty good. Since I'm close to my house, that's why I turned it down so I could talk to you guys a little bit before I went in. Um, As you guys can kind of hear, still do got a little bit of engine noise, but it's a lot better than what it was and after I just dropped off my wood so my guy can start getting my ant rack together so probably after I get that together probably gonna add a couple more grounds in the back and hopefully that eliminates it all but we'll see Maybe I'll add an extra ground to the back of the radio, too. Either way, I know grounding the, most, most guys say grounding the RCAs. I already tried that. It didn't do anything. It actually made it worse. So, I'm just going to keep adding grounds until it's gone. Um, this is Worms That Do signing off. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Drop a thumbs up on the video if you like the content. Alright guys, later on.